Hi, I'm Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital, uh, now going to talk about pro forma financial statements. Uh, through a company's normal course of operations, sometimes they'll run into situations or transactions that happen so rarely that it's not really reflective of what happens in their ongoing business. Uh, for example, if a major, catast major catastrophe um, or fluctuation in, in market value takes place, um, it can really skew what the value of the company really looks like in all reality. A pro forma statement is designed to help investors, managers, whoever might be analyzing your financial statements understand exactly what is going on with the normal course of operations within the business. Therefore, what you often see is a normal set of financial statements that are built according uh, to, to GAAP. Um, and in addition, you'll see a pro forma set of financial statements. Uh, that indicate exactly line by line um, what happened differently because of the rare occasions or rare events um, and let the financials be reflective of what the, the, the financials would have looked like had things continued to go forward um, as planned in their normal day-to-day -day operations. It's then very common for the company to put some kind of a note or explanation uh, below the pro forma financial statements that explain exactly what happened and how it had an impact on their financial statements. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.